last time you were here, you talked about how important the defense was to you all's success, and obviously that's still been a part of it. How surprising is it to you, or how have you all been able to do it, having so many new pieces and young players? Uh, just by trusting the system that's in place, uh, you know, understanding the game plan that's uh, being put out, and uh, you know, it's our job to go out there and uh, execute it to the best of our abilities. It's, you know, it's probably probably uh, simpler said than done, but. Um, the effort and attitude is two things we can ultimately control. Sorry. And, um, you know, we just try to do that on a given night. Just make sure we have each other's backs. You're in such a good flow in your own game right now. Uh, is that motivated by anything particular other than that's what you're supposed to be? No. Yeah, it's just a job. You know, uh, I think some games are going to be better than others. Um, but, you know, just trying to be in a, as efficient as possible. Um, you know, probably heading around where my rhythm is becoming a lot better, um, you know, and just getting in tip-top shape of really just kind of flowing to the season where you would want to be in the beginning of the season. But, um, you know, summer was a little hectic for me. So <laughs> coming in, um, you know, it just wasn't in as optimum shape as I would have liked to be in terms of heading the, the start of it. So, you know, preseason was great for that. And then the beginning season wasn't normal at all. So, um you know, there was just a lot of extra things that you kind of had to just get used to. And I think now that we're uh, getting further down the season a little bit, um, you know, as we're heading, I think uh, this is our 19th game, our 19th game. So, yeah, you, you know, you start hitting around this mark where guys just really start getting ultimate rhythms. And, you know, you just see it be sustained over long period, longer periods of time. That it just looks like you're playing very relaxed right now, which adds to the success that you guys are having. And that's what you look like on the court. Uh, yeah, it's pretty fun out there, man. It's pretty fun. Um, you know, it just uh, makes the game a lot easier. Uh, you know, you go out there, just compete at the highest level. Um, you know, got guys that are just willing just to just willing to just do everything out there. Uh, you know, in order for us to win a game, which they've been proving every single night. Um, us as a group, we're just collectively getting better. Kyrie, you said, when you, you look at this other, group, uh, you, you know, so many new players. Usually, it takes time to jump. Why is this group? been different uh, this season, do you think? Um, you know, you could probably can credit the newness, just uh, the innocence of, uh, you know, some of the young guys that we have on our team, um, but also just, um, you know, how selfless we all are in terms of our approach coming into every single game. Um, you know, I think that we all respect each other's talents. I've said it, you know, for the last few weeks, but that's probably the biggest thing is that just the respect for each other's talents that we have, um, just going out there and um, you know, kind of empowering each other just to be ourselves. And, you know, when mistakes or things happen out there, um, we're just unwavering. So it's pretty awesome. You said, the, you said the other night that a couple of years ago you might have been a little more focused on just going for the 40, and now it's more just a matter of getting things in the flow. Is that just a natural maturing process? What do you think that is? Yeah, I would, I would definitely say that. Um, you know, just the focus is... On a lot of different, a lot of different things um, than when you're a little bit younger. And also, it could be, uh, you know, different things that you're going through where you are, or um, you know, just the development. You know, I just think that some guys get a lot quicker. Where, you know, for example, I think the, the prototypical, uh, you know, example I love to use is Kawhi. You know, just being in the uh, Spurs system since he was a, basically a kid and being cultured into being, you know, learning how to become a winner right when he came into the league. Um, you know, other guys, you know, when you're, uh, it could be buried on where you're picked. You know, we go into a situation where, you know, basically your focus is how many points you can score within a game and trying to get accolades that would kind of separate you from the rest of the group. And, you know, you watch the, the rest of your guys win championships or, you know, get a you know, specific accolades that are team oriented. And then, you know, that starts to mean a lot more, uh, you know, to those players because, you know, they, it's just, that's, that's really what your legacy is going to be remembered by, you know, uh, you know, it's always good to have those individual accolades, but, you know, it's nothing like being on an unbelievable team. Well, when, uh, when, when, when Gordon went down, did you think you might have to be a little more focused that way? Nah. Just think that was my approach coming in. Um, you know, just be as selfless as possible, but also understand that uh, you know my mark as a um, as a player and as a talent needed to be made as well, and it needed to be for the betterment of the group.
So I needed to figure out how to how to best um, do that, and then it was going to be pretty easy from there. How, how do you see from this heat team? They finished so strong last year. They bring everybody back, and they've had, they've had their struggles. What, what do you see as the? It's still early, you know. So teams, uh, you know, that, they went on an unbelievable streak last year. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it again. Um, you know, they just got Pat Riley at the helm, you know, which we all, who we all respect. And, you know, when you got a guy like that leading the franchise and, you know, guys that are willing to sacrifice and commit themselves to a game of basketball, they're very diligent in their approach. Then, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see them make strides. Um, you know, like I said, it, you never know what any players are coming off in the summer. They could have been working out and, you know, it just take, it takes a while. Sometimes even when you play well the last year coming in, it, it may take a while just to jump start it, you know, so. It's all right. You know, having, it just basketball happens. Having said that, the jump start that you guys have had, I mean, this streak right now, I mean, do you think it will come this quick together, this quick? Uh, we're just living in it, man. We're present. So, uh, you know, just taking it one moment at a time, man. How can you stay present? Just, you know, knowing that you got that, what could be a distraction from the outside, you know, what game? 16, 17, 5 games. How do you stay in the moment despite it? It's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. Easy it's not, yeah. It's just, it's just basketball at the end of the day, man. It's just, you know, I think that the, a lot of the uh, attention is, like I said, it's from the outside, and I think it's that for a reason. Uh, kid Michael Porter Jr. from Missouri is going to have season-ending back surgery. Uh, he played like two minutes. I mean, you kind of went through a similar situation where you still entered the draft even though you were hurt. Uh, that your freshman year, you played 11 yeah. games, not two yeah. games. Yeah. Um, what kind of advice would you give to a guy like that? Who would you just, in terms of the draft and after not playing most of your freshman year? Um, I would, I would definitely say, uh, man, it's, it's first off, it's tough, you know, to, for any young kid to go through that, especially if they haven't been through any real injury in their lives, you know. You know, I don't know. I'm not necessarily knowing his history, but I'm pretty sure that's probably his first one where he's had to sit out a whole entire season. And, you know, you got to have your parents come in and, you know, as an 18-year-old kid and, you know, understanding how talented you are, you, know, you just want to play basketball. And when it gets taken away from you like that for the betterment of your health, you know, at the time, you can't necessarily understand that because you literally basketball is all you know. Um, but... Uh, for me, it just gave me time to focus on other things, um, you know, focus on my body, understand what the goal was at hand uh, that I was trying to accomplish. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty sure the NBA scouts have enough enough on him or they've seen enough of him to know whether he's going to be in the top three or two. I'm pretty, he was, what is he, pre, he's number one right now, two or one. So, yeah, I, other guys are going to have a lot more film, um, but... Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure his talent as a, I think he's a three man, right? Four man that's able to handle it, crazy athletic and shoot from the outside. I, I think I've seen him on the EYBL circuit as well. So he's a talent. Um, and, you know, we've seen guys not even, you know, they've gotten drafted and have like Joel didn't play for what, two years, three years. So, I mean, you never know what can happen. I mean, as, as long as he gets the opportunity and he makes the most of it and understands that, um, you know, things like this happen and it's part of the athletic athletic part of your athletic career sometimes um but the biggest thing is how you respond from it that's going to really dictate uh you know what your what your success is going forward 16 and, two obviously is a, 16 and 2 obviously is a destination of course but even though you talked about staying in the moment have you allowed yourself even a fleeting moment after a game or two to think about just how unusual what you guys have been able to do so far is there's no time there's no time man we play every other day <laughs> there's no time i think that uh you know, we, we definitely have some words of encouragement after the game. Um, definitely watch some film and see the good things that we've done and obviously the, ooh, the amount of things we can do better. Um, so, you know, we, we're, like I said, we're just unwavering, man. And I think that uh, it just goes back to, uh, you know, the, the, the young guys that we have on this team and, and, and how dedicated they are to their craft and as well as having myself and Al and having Gordon be a supporter from, um, not just the background, but also now coming to the games and, and being able to, to text us. And, you know, we're all just staying the course. We understand that uh, this is all new, but the fact that we can be present every single day in every game is, uh, is a step in the right direction.